Only 17 when he joined one of Britain's top bands, Suede. Since then, he has toured America, Asia and Europe, had two of his songs released and celebrated his 18th birthday. Not bad for a beginner. There's no point in doing it unless I think I can do it better. And um, I did think I could do it better. And I'm now at the moment, in my opinion, doing it better. At 17, it was Richard's age more than his guitar skills that grabbed the headlines when Suede announced him as their new member. It's more of a big deal for people outside the band. The people involved with the band, they don't really care. You, know, you get over that hurdle very quickly. I mean, it's kind of like at first, it's kind of, oh, you know, a little boring. But, you know, now it's, it's just a really doesn't matter. Other than age, another recurring problem was the comparisons between Richard and his predecessor, Bernard Butler. At first it was a bit, well, why don't they see me for me instead of someone who's replacing Bernard? But, you know, I, I didn't really, it doesn't bother me. I, get, I got sick of all that after about two weeks, you know. Still a little intimidated by the recording studio, when performing live, Richard doesn't feel like the new boy anymore. I stopped seeing myself as different from them in any way very early on. You know, we're all kind of, we're all the same now. We're, you know, four people on stage, you know, and we're all kind of, we're swayed, we're a band, you know, we're kind of, we're not three people who have been doing the circuit for a couple of years and one person who hasn't, you know, it doesn't, that's not it, that's not what people think when they come and see us. Suede might be new and improved, but in concert, most of their songs are still those of the old Suede. But this isn't a problem for Richard. Basically, I try and convince myself that I wrote them, you know. And I try and convince everyone else that I wrote them as well, if I play them like this, you know. And I mean, you know, I know I didn't write them, but that's neither here nor there. It's still a show, isn't it? It's not strange. There's never any point when I kind of sit up and think, well, why am I doing this? You know, I didn't write it. Everyone starts off doing covers, don't they? <laughs> you know? With Suede's third album expected later this year, it'll be interesting to see how influential Richard has been on his pop guardian, Brett Anderson. Because if his confidence is anything to go by, it might well be him who'll be introducing the band. So you've got to change and stuff. And I'm bringing my own style into it. You know? And if people don't like it, then... Sorry. <laughs>